Uh, you're back in full training camp. Tell me how that's going. Training's great. Uh, you know, knees strong. Uh, probably at my leanest uh, in a while. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, you know, I can't wait for uh, September 21st. Uh, it's going to be a good one. So tell me about your opponent. Who are you fighting? I'm fighting Destin Kimura, uh, undefeated guy. Uh, he's stud. You know, he's uh, very dangerous on the ground. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of footage on him, but from what I've seen so far, he's, you know, he has a solid, solid grappling game. Uh, I wasn't able to see s s much of his stand-up. I'm not saying he's, he, he has, he's weak there or not, but uh, from what I've seen, he's, he's a stud on the ground. So, uh, uh, from what you could tell us, what's your plan going in? You know what? I, I, I I'm just gonna put the pressure on him, and uh, I'm gonna dictate where the fight's gonna be, and. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that uh, you know it's gonna be an exciting fight, and uh, you know it's gonna go down hard. So tell me what it was like. Just give me a little bit of an idea of what it was like during your recovery for this uh, knee injury. You know, it's not my first uh, injury. I, I blew out my MCL a few years back, and it's tough mentally. You know, you're 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 not on the mats. You're not training. You're not evolving. You're not getting better while others are are, are doing that exactly that, and uh, uh, you know. But at the same time, I think I needed it because mentally I was I was exhausted. You know, training, training, training for, for for the last year and a half. I only fought twice for the UFC, but I went through three camps. I was supposed to fight uh, Johnny Bedford in uh, Chicago in January, and that didn't pan out because of visa issues. But I still went through a big camp there. Then they put me on the July card versus Brian Caraway. Then they put me against Willow Watson. Then I was supposed to I was supposed to fight I say tomorrow. Uh, in March, so I was going back to back camps, and I, I think my body just, told, you know, decided to, to to make me take a break. You know, so your body told you, right? Yeah. Uh, have you gotten good with your like, you know, a lot of athletes? You hear how they get good at listening to their body. Are you getting better at that aspect of things? Yeah, you know what? I, I'm not old, but you know, when I I'm 29, and I've been doing this for about 10 years, like, you know, pretty much all out like I am, and. Uh, my recovery rate is, has gone down. Like when I was 20, I didn't have to, I didn't have to stretch. I didn't have to do nothing. I just drop on the mats and, and go. Now, now I need, I need to, to take it slower and, and, and smarter. So, so uh, you have a bit of a secret weapon in your camp right now. Uh, can you uh, talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know, Richard's been great. I think he, he brought my game to. Uh, and by the way, if anybody doesn't know him, his name is Richard Monkey Nanku. Uh, he's been with uh, with me for a year and a half, and he, uh, you know, I, I, I'm a completely different fighter because of him. Like uh, 360, um, just he's just an amazing person, and he, he yeah. What so what does he bring to the to your training though? What what is the main element that, for people that don't know? Uh, you know what he he's he's well rounded, uh, Richard. But his you know right now he's he's working a lot on my my jiu jitsu, and um, we're doing a lot of. Uh, you know, positional drilling. He's, he's very good. Like he's, he's as smart as hell. Like uh, he's wowing me every time I um, I train. So um, it's great with training with him. Cool, dude. All right. So what about uh, the fight? What kind of fight do you think it's gonna be? I don't know. I'm always, you know, in my 11 fights, I've, I've either finished fights quick or my opponent decided to to, to tell me fuck off and, and you're not gonna just uh, smash me and. Uh, I, we, we put up a good fight. Like I never been in a in a shitty fight if somebody you know passed passed the first round with me. So uh, I you know if, if I say, um, if I mean uh, if uh, Dustin could could you know keep up with the pace, I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna have a great fight together, and uh, I can't wait. So where would you like this fight to be on the card? You know what? It, it, whatever the UFC or or you know the whoever's in charge of that, that you know they think it's. It, it, it's uh, it's worthy of, of you know national international TV man. I'm happy with that. Whatever they want, I just want to go fight. Sweet. And anything you'd like to say to the fans quickly? Yeah, man. Uh, for all the fans, you know, thanks for being there. Even when I was on my downs, when I was injured, and, and supporting me. And for all you haters, you know, it just fuels me uh, to, to get better and you know and, and stronger and, and get the W.